Hello, twin. How are you today? My name is Gabby. It's great to see you one more time. And today we are going to see together our class number six. Okay, so let's start with a short presentation. This is about something you already know. In, on, or at. Do you remember this? They are prepositions, right? And now we use these prepositions, in, on, or at, to talk about moments, right? When someone asks us, when we do something, okay, we talk about different moments. So let's see if you remember this. Look at this sentence. Every day I get up mm, seven o'clock. What do you think we need to use here? In, on, or at? Can you write it on the chat? Come on. Yes, very good. We, we are going to say every day I get up at seven o'clock. And why? Porque usamos at y no otra cosa. ¿Lo sabes? ¿Lo puedes escribir en el chat? All right, excellent. We use at to talk about the time. For example, seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. Great, let's see the next. We usually do our homework in the afternoon. Now, what do you think? In, on, or at? Please, write it on the chat. Come on. Okay, we're going to say in the afternoon. We usually do our homework in the afternoon. And why? Do you know? Okay, very good. We use in to talk about parts of the day. For example, the afternoon, the evening, the morning. Okay, they are parts of the day, so we use in. What about this? She has her dance practice on Thursdays. What do you think? In, on, or at? Excellent. We are going to say she has her dance practice on Thursdays. And why? Yes, very good. Thursday is a day of the week. We use on to talk about days of the week. Excellent. Let's go on. I go roller skating with my friends on the weekend. Aha. Uh -huh. So, what do you think? Okay, now we are going to say at the weekend. I go roller skating with my friends at the weekend. We use at to talk about the weekend. Cuando aparece esta frase, ¿sí? no digo los días de la semana, sino la frase the weekend. Remember, the weekend is Saturday and Sunday, all right? So in this case, we need to use at, all right? What about this sentence? They always go on holiday in January. Hmm. Now, in, on, or at? Okay, we're going to use in. They always go on holiday in January. And why is that? Very good. We use in to talk about months, the months of the year, January, March, August, November, okay? They are months and we use in. What about this one? My birthday is hmm, the 18th of November. Pay attention because here it's not just the month. I have the exact date. So what do you think? In, on, or at? 
Very good. We are going to say my birthday is on the 18th of November. We use on to talk about dates, the exact date. Look at this. Ben enjoys skiing mm, winter. And now, what do you think? All right, we are going to say in winter because we use in to talk about seasons. Winter, spring, summer, autumn, they are seasons and we use in. So let's revise everything. Let's remember. We use in to talk about parts of the day, like the morning, the afternoon, the evening, months of the year, April, May, June, July, and seasons, autumn, winter, spring, summer, okay? Then we use on to talk about the days of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. And dates, yes, for example, the 27th of August, the 13th of September, okay? And finally, we use at to talk about the time. For example, when we say nine o'clock, half past four, quarter to eight, mm -hmm, the time and the weekend, all right? So now that we have revised this, the use of in, on, or at, we are going to complete our next handout. This is called meetings. Look, meetings, all right? Do you know the meaning of the word meetings? Maybe you remember the word meet. For example, when we say meet my friends, I always meet my friends after school, for example, okay? So meet my friends means juntarse con amigos, encontrarse, okay? So when we talk about meetings, we are talking about reuniones, juntadas, reuniones, okay? That's the idea of the word meetings. So look at exercise A. Read Monica's mail and complete it with the right preposition. In, on, or at. Okay, so here we have an email. Monica wrote this email and this is to Gemma, Ben and Barney. The subject is about the study group. Okay, este es el mail que escribió Monica. Acá tenemos a quienes les mandó este mail, ¿ok? A quienes les está escribiendo. Y subjects quiere decir sobre qué tema les va a hablar, ¿sí? Sobre qué se trata justamente este mail que les mandó. So we are going to read it and complete it with in, on or at. Es lo que acabamos de repasar, ¿ok? So let's see. Hi everyone, our next maths test is... Mm, September. So let's start here. We're talking about September. Look, September is a month, a month of the year. And what do we use to talk about months like September? In, on, or at? Do you remember? Can you write it on the chat? Yes, very good. We are going to say in September. Our next math test is in September. Is it possible to meet on Fridays? Okay, now we're talking about Fridays. This is a day of the week, right? So what do we need now? In, on, or at? Please, write it on the chat. Come on. To talk about the days of the week, we use... On. Very good. So, the question goes, 
Is it possible to meet on Fridays? Let's study together. Mm, the 7th of September. Mm, half past five. Okay, here we need to complete two different parts, right? First, we have the 7th of September. Okay, remember, this is a date. A date. So, what do you think we need? In, on, or at? Okay, we are going to use on. Let's study together on the 7th of September, mm, half past five. Now, yes, this is very easy. At half past five, we use at to talk about the time. All right. So, let's study together on the 7th of September at half past five. What do you think? Remember, we always meet in room 12. Don't be late, Monica. Okay? So, I'm going to read the whole thing. Pay attention. Hi, everyone. Our next maths test is in September. Is it possible to meet on Fridays? Let's study together on the 7th of September at half past five. What do you think? Remember, we always meet in room 12. Don't be late, Monica. Okay? So, they are talking about a maths test, right? Una prueba de matemática. And they need to study. Study together. This means estudiar juntos. Together means juntos. Okay? Lo que está haciendo Mónica es proponer cuándo se pueden juntar y dónde. All right? So, let's check the next activity. Activity B. Answer the following questions with full answers. So, we have some questions about this text. Let's see. Number one. When is the children's next maths test? When is the children's next month's test. Okay, here we have this WH word, when. We are asking about the moment. The moment of what? The maths test. When is it? Do you know the answer? When is the children's next maths test? Look at the text and can you write your answer on the chat? Come on. All right, let's take a look at the text. It says, our next maths test is in September, right? Okay, so we're going to use this information to write our answer. But we cannot say, our next maths test. No, it's not my test, our test. It's their text. Ok, estamos hablando del examen de ellos, no es nuestra prueba, es la prueba de ellos, de Mónica, Ben, etc. So, their next maths test is in September. Ok. Good. What about number two? When does Mónica want to meet? with her study group. Okay, so again we have a question starting with when. This is about Monica. Do you remember the meaning of want? This means querer, okay? So, cuando quiere juntarse, porque este mail de Mónica es justamente para proponer cuándo juntarse, pero los demás le tienen que ir contestando, ¿ok? Entonces, eso es lo que me piden esta pregunta. ¿Qué piensa Mónica? ¿Cuándo quiere juntarse ella? ¿Ok? So, let's go back to the text. Look. Is it possible to meet on Fridays? 
let's study together on the 7th of September at half past five. Okay, so look at this. On Fridays, la pregunta que ya hace es, is it possible to meet on Fridays? Okay, eso es lo que está sugiriendo. So, we can answer. Talking about Monica, right? So, we can use she. Mm -hmm. And we are going to say she wants, okay, porque ella quiere, she wants to meet with her study group. Ok, quiere juntarse con este grupo de estudio y ahora sí vamos a agregar cuándo, when. On Fridays, ok, podemos poner on Fridays o también directamente la fecha exacta, on the 7th of September, ok, so let's write that. Actually, we can combine the information. She wants to meet with her study group. On Friday, the 7th of September. Okay, so there we have a very complete answer. She wants to meet with her study group on Friday, the 7th of September. Now, look at the next question. What time are they starting the revision? Now, what time? What time? So let's go back to the text. What time are they starting the revision? Remember, start means comenzar. Revision here means repaso. Okay, so let's go back. What time are they starting? Yes, very good, here at half past five. So let's write a complete sentence now. Let's say, they are starting their revision at half past five. Okay. Un comentario les voy a hacer que cuando digo acá, they are starting the revision, no estoy hablando de lo que está sucediendo en este momento, no son actions now, pero ustedes ya van a ir viendo también que esta forma del verbo present continuous, como acá, they are starting, también se puede usar a veces para referirnos a acciones futuras que van a pasar, ¿ok? Pero por ahora no se preocupen tanto por eso, ya lo verán con más detalle. So, they are starting the revision at half past five. Look at question number four. Where are Monica and her study group meeting? Now, pay attention. The question is not when, it's where. So they want to know about the place. Where? Where are Monica and her study group meeting? Let's see. Where? In what place? Can you find it? Yes, very good. It is in room 12. Perfect. So let's go back to the answer. And let's say, okay, Monica and her study group. We can say they, right? To talk about Monica and her study group, we say they. They are meeting in room 12. All right. And finally, do they always meet there? Do they always meet there? Mm, let's see. Oh, yes, we always meet in room 12. Sí, dice que siempre se juntan en ese lugar. So, do they always meet there? Yes. ¿Y cómo puedo completar esta respuesta? ¿Te acordás? Come on, can you write it on the chat? Excellent. Yes, they do. Okay, remember that if we answer using yes or no, we need to look at the first word in the question. In this case, 
do. Do they always meet their? Yes, they do. All right? Remember that if you have any questions about this, you can ask your teacher on the chat. Now I'm going to show you today's homework. Let's take a look. So you have different online practice activities, right? Let me show you. The first one is called more meetings, more meetings. Read the following mails and complete them with the right preposition in, on, or at. Okay, this is very similar to this activity. Okay, now you have other emails. Okay, and you also have to read them and complete them using in, on, or at. Okay, van a ver que hay un primer mail. Fíjense que lo escribe Ben. Ok, y luego una respuesta a ese mail que escribe Gemma. Están relacionados los dos mails que tienen acá. Leanlos atentamente y piensen en cada caso sobre qué están hablando para decidir si van a usar in, on or at. Ok, that's one of the activities. Then, the next one. Go or play. Read the sentences and complete with go, goes, play, or plays. Okay, estuvimos hablando un poquito de esto. Some activities, some sports are um, said, are used with go and some other ones with play. Acá te van a tener que dar cuenta, según el deporte, si va go o play, pero también si le vas a tener que incluir la S o no. Okay. So, there are a few sentences, it's very short. And finally, we have a forum about your likes and dislikes. Okay, look. Write five true sentences about you. One answer for each question. Okay, dice about you, es sobre vos, es personal. ¿sí? Five sentences. Cada oración que tenés que escribir es una respuesta a estas preguntas. What do you love doing? What do you enjoy doing? What do you like doing? What don't you like doing? And what do you hate doing? Ok, so five sentences. Puedes usar conectores entre una oración y otra, por supuesto, ¿sí? Pero fíjate que en todas dice doing, porque me pregunta qué me gusta hacer o qué odio hacer o lo que sea, ¿sí? Pero no es que voy a decir me gusta la pizza, no, ¿ok? Tampoco voy a decir me gusta el tenis, tengo que decir me gusta jugar al tenis, ¿sí? Tengo que hablar de acciones usando verbos. Let me read you an example of mine. Ok, yo ahora te voy a contar como si me estuvieran haciendo estas preguntas, cómo armaría yo mi texto, hablando sobre mí, lo que a mí me gusta y no me gusta, usando todos estos verbos. Love, enjoy, like, don't like, and hate. Ok, listen. I love swimming. It's my favorite sport. I enjoy playing tennis and I like cycling. But I don't like playing hockey or golf and I hate running. Okay, this is just my example. Then you are going to write your sentences here in the forum. Okay, acuérdense que esto al ser cinco oraciones, si las hacen perfectas, valen dos puntos cada oración. Ahora, si hacen menos de cinco, van a ir restando puntos de la nota, no les conviene. Okay. So, you have three different online practice activities and now you're going to continue the next part of the class on Zoom with your teacher. Bye-bye, twin. See you next time.